A population of 200 rabbits has 102 rabbits with white fur and 98 rabbits with black fur. You know that the allele for white fur, F1, is dominant to the allele for black fur, F2. Calculate the following. The frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype in the population. Well, we know that the homozygous recessive genotype is going to be F2 because F1 is the dominant allele. The homozygous recessive genotype, when talking about its frequency, is the variable Q squared. Q squared is going to be equal to your allele frequency, Q squared. Uh, we know that 98 rabbits have uh, black fur, which is the recessive phenotype. So if we take 98 rabbits and divide it by the total population, we will get the frequency. B, the frequency of the recessive allele. Well, we know that the frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype is 0.49. By taking the radical of both sides, we can identify the frequency of the recessive allele to be 0.7. The frequency of the dominant allele. By using the formula P plus Q equals 1, we can identify the frequency of the dominant allele. D, the number of homozygous dominant individuals in the population. We know that the, the number of homozygous dominant individuals in the population is going to be equal to the frequency of the homozygous dominant individuals in the population times the total population. We can calculate the frequency of the homozygous dominant individuals by calculating P squared. Now that we found p squared, we can plug it in and multiply it by the total number of individuals in the population. 18 rabbits. The number of heterozygous individuals in the population. We can find the number of heterozygous individuals in the population by multiplying 2pq, the frequency for the heterozygous individuals in the population, times the total population. 2pq is going to be equal to 2 times 0.3 times 0.7, which is equal to 0.42. We can plug in the value for 2pq and multiply it by the total population and return 84 rabbits. F. If a group of 40 rabbits migrate to the population, is the population Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium anymore? So here is the population of rabbits. If 40 rabbits, and it doesn't matter that they're black, it could be any genotype, uh, if 40 rabbits migrate to the population, the population will no longer be in Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium because the 40 rabbits bring with them their genotype frequencies. So the answer is no. Calculate the new frequency of the allele for black fur if the above migration occurs. Hint, you have to use P equals 2 times the number of individuals with the F1, F1 genotype plus the number of individuals with the F1, F2 genotype divided by 2 times the total population. So, P 
he is equal to 2 times the number of individuals with the F1, F1 genotype. Well, that number was given to us above as 18 rabbits because 18 rabbits corresponds with the number of homozygous dominant individuals, which is P squared, which have the genotype F1, F1 because white fur is the dominant allele. plus the number of individuals with the F1, F2 genotype. This can be found here because 84 rabbits is the number of heterozygous individuals in the population. You'll note that the 40 black rabbits that migrated to the population has not yet affected either of these two values because the black rabbits correspond with the homozygous recessive individuals in the population. So, we divide this by 2 times the total population, which is no longer 200 rabbits. The total population is now 200 plus the 40 rabbits who migrated to our population. Okay, so the total population is now... 240. When we multiply this through and divide by the 2 times the total population, we get P equaling 0.25. Now that is not our answer because that corresponds to the allele for white fur because white fur corresponds with the dominant allele and P being the frequency of the dominant allele. We need to find Q, the frequency for the recessive allele, black fur. We can find this by using the formula P plus Q equals 1. And we can subtract P to the other side and substitute in our value. Q equals 0.75. And that is our answer. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please email me.